Hello there fellow players, my name is MBC66. I am one of the programmers working on Pre Fortress 2. Today I will be showing you how to set up your own dedicated server for Pre Fortress 2. There will be also a written tutorial, you can go to the description to read the written tutorial if that is more of your thing. So yeah, alright, so let's get started. The first step to set up a server is to start port forwarding. Now this step may vary from person to person, but we will show you a really simplified version of port forwarding. Our first step will be to open up the run menu by pressing the windows button plus R. In the run menu type in the command cmd. Next inside the console type in ipconfig. Now scroll down to the bottom and find the default gateway IP. Now you are going to copy that IP, open a web browser and paste the IP in a search bar. Now here's the part that might conflict with most people, but right now we will try and find the port forwarding setting inside our router setting. And we are going to port forward the following ports, shown on the screen right here. Now you can go online and check if your port is open. There are many websites to check that, but you can use this one provided in the video description. And if it says the port is open, you have successfully port forwarded. Congratulations! And, as an added plus, after your port forward, you will be able to use these ports to run basically any source engine game server you want. For the next step, we are going to set up our game and download a few things to be able to run the server. Now we will need to open up Steam and go to the library tab. On the left side of the screen you will see a filter button. We will click it and filter the library by tools. Now we will search for source SDK 2013 dedicated server and download it. After we have downloaded the tool, we will now go ahead and download another copy of PF2. We will now go on GitLab and go to the PF2 repo and press the clone button and copy the HTTPS link. Now this step can be done in many ways but we will clone the repo and you can clone the repo anywhere but for now to clone the repo I will be using git bash but you can use any git client you want for this step doesn't really matter. Open up the git client and clone the repo. After we have finished cloning the repo, we will now go on and open up Steam again and go to source SDK 2013 dedicated server and right click it and open the properties tab. Go to the local files tab and press browse local files. After that, you will see a .exe file, which you will make a shortcut of. Now, we will right click the shortcut and open up the properties. After you have done that, go ahead and find the location or the full path of where you cloned your latest PF2 folder. You will need to copy the path of the PF2 folder. Now go back to the properties of the shortcut and in the target section add the following line. Now in between those two quotation marks just paste in the location of your PF2 folder. Next we will add minus console to the target. This will make it so when we run the server our game opens up inside a console so that we can control the server more easily. And that should be it. Now press apply and close the properties. Open the shortcut and you, voila, you have a server up and running. 